Thank you so much, Mike. And joining us now live from Washington, Central Florida Congressman Daniel Webster. Always good to see you, Congressman. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good to see you, Amy. All right, so you were in the room last night. Obviously, it, there's a different feel whenever you're sort of in the presence of a speech like that. What were your thoughts? Well, my thoughts, first of all, were that uh, there are some things that we do agree on. But on the other hand, much of the speech was a, just a retake on what I've already heard before. A lot of the plan is a retake on the actual plans that have been done, including the stimulus package. It's just another uh, opportunity to spend more money. I don't think that part's going to pass. You know, it's interesting because it seems like what we continue to hear over and over in Washington are, are Band-Aids. We, we put Band-Aids on things. We never sort of look at the, the long-term solution. Solutions. Are there people in Washington looking at long-term solutions? There are. <clears throat> the House has passed 12 bills, sent them to the Senate, and really there's been no, no action at all on them. They're long-term. They're long-term as far as energy policy, creating jobs in that market. They're long-term in, in actually uh, uh, creating things that uh, would generate an economy not for today, but for the future. And, you know, a lot of folks here in Central Florida are obviously very concerned about job creation. What are we doing here at home to sort of spur job growth here in our own backyard? Well, I think there's, there's three things we have been looking for all along, and that is, first of all, there's certainty that, uh, that tomorrow the regulations would, would not be any more than they are today, and that has not happened. That's what we're looking for. There's a business right now that's willing to invest in two different projects of over a billion dollars each uh, if they have certainty about tomorrow about, according to the regulations that could be put in place. The president has been deaf uh, in his ear to those, those uh suggestions that we've given him. So we also need capital and certainly less spending is going to produce more businesses. We also need consumer confidence and, and that's going to be there when we actually um, uh, begin creating these jobs which we believe can happen if we only had certainty uh, about the, what government's intervention is going to be in, in the lives of businesses.